stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, Saint Matthew, the evangelist. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. From the songs of our teacher, Damon the prophet and the king, may his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of our soul, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory Departed from there, skirted the Sea of Galilee, and went up on the mountain and sat down there. Then a great multitude came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the mute, the maimed, and many others. And they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Glory be to God forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Um, today's Gospel from the Gospel of St. Matthew, um, declaring the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ by performing miracles. Um, and as he um, went up in a mountain and sat down there, the great multitudes came to him, having with them those who were lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others. And they laid them down at Jesus' feet. Those are so simple. The simple people, they gathered all around our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever he went, they went after him. And when he sat down, they sat at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. As if the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ has its own attraction. But to who? To the simple ones. The simple people, they love to sit down at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And because it has its own attraction, the simple people, they receive a great treatment from our Lord Jesus Christ and a great help as well. So the church has taken this as a spiritual path that we need to sit down at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ in prayer kneeling down, feeling that we are not worthy, showing to him our simplicity of the heart and of the life. And that's how 
the multitude were, were um, marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and all glorified the God of Israel. What a beautiful thing when you feel that God has done something great to you. He performed a marvelous work through his kindness, through his love, through his compassion, and through his power, and through his divinity. We have seen a lot of people, when they received this kind of treatment and this kind of kindness, they came back to his church glorifying him, and they asked for a glorification for, it, for the Lord, for what he has done. He has done good works to them. But if God is working only with the simple, but he can work with anyone, but to be a simple person is not easy. Simplicity of the heart and of life is not about being a sick person or a poor person, but actually feeling you are not worthy inside yourself and you feel that whatever you do is not good enough to please the Lord and you feel you are in need of Him. So, simplicity, it's um, a condition by choice and it comes from inside. So, it is an inner awareness that can reflect the outside appearance and the out, outer lifestyle. And let us work on that. What is the definition of simplicity? How I will become a simple person? Simply being humble, being aware, being rooted, being unmaterialistic means a simple person. The person he feels that nothing is controlling him from inside. So the simplicity gives us freedom, gives us joy, gives us peace, while duplicity gives us bondage, gives us anxiety, gives us fear. But how I will reach a level of simplicity and when I deal in things in life. And to be honest, you have to start with the spiritual path that will liberate you from inside. The inner man who will be liberated, will be free. There is no bondage. And when you look inside you, you can see the ego of yourself inside you. You need to dissolve this ego away. And once you do that, you'll be liberated. And then whatever you see in life, it will be a reflection of what is inside. So those people, they are rich, they, might, they can be simple as well. Those people, they have hold a, a position or a rank, they can be simple. When, when the ego is in, inside them dissolved and they are free or liberated from inside themselves. So how about like, you know, the, the lifestyle we do in life, how can I reach that as well? So the lifestyle, it's an expression of what is inside. So the person, if he's liberated from inside, he'll be liberated from outside. But if the person is not liberated from inside, he will show a different lifestyle from outside. And that's how we can see great people are so simple, are so humble, and nothing will really change them, either money or a rank or a position or an achievement or a success. Um, and that's how, like the simple people, they can have Christ. So some fathers, they said, actually, simplicity, it's a sign of the spiritual um, closeness to our Lord. So if you are simple, you can be much more easier, closer to our God. You will have the divine grace working inside you and inside your heart to make yourself more simple and to feel that you are not worthy of that. And at the same time, the simplicity of, um, of a, a person can help him not to be harmed by anything from outside. We live in a very difficult world. The world has its own stresses to make us complicated in our lives. There is a lot of things that we have stresses in life, relationships, jobs, 
um, many other things, even achievement of um, qualifications or getting a proper career, it's all about like you know, very difficult day after day. And people are so consumed. So we consume our energy to deal with that stresses and we forgot about uh, what is inside us and why we are doing this. And people, they say, nothing wrong with ambitions, but if the ambitions are not in accordance to God's will, it might be deviated into a wrong direction as well. So we need to stop thinking how people like you know, think. That's why there are certain people, they make decisions based on sound thinking or based on fear. Sometimes they are afraid or based on what the people think of us. And all of them are a sign of lacking of the divine grace in our life. So when we get closer to the Lord, we feel we are nothing and we feel that we need to live a simple life. And the simple life, this is really enjoyable. And once you do that, you will feel the difference. Some of um, our sons and daughters, they have left the world and they went to live an ascetic life, monastic life. And those people, if they haven't practiced and experienced the simplicity of the heart before they went to this path, they will struggle a lot. Why? Because simplicity, it's a, an, a key of the ascetic life. If they don't have the simplicity of the heart, the simplicity of the inner man, the simplicity has an expression in outer um, uh, word appearance and the lifestyle, those people, they're going to struggle. And that's how God loves the simple people, loves being humble, and he can choose little things. So people, they have experienced things in life, um, and they say, I cannot live without them. And once they have the spiritual awareness, the inner awareness, they can, they are able to live without them, then they will be getting the freedom and they will be liberated. And I'll give you an example. Someone, he thinks that um, if um, I need to stop buying like, you know, different um, fashion or different brands or the latest um, fashion or the latest um, um, fern, and I don't get this stuff and I'm okay, you'll be liberated. This is the time you feel you are simple and you don't have to go be, um, behind or to run after these things and you feel I'm not attached to them anymore. Why? Simply because you are trying to live a simple life. So there is always a battle between two things in life, between what we need and what we want. A lot of people, they, they, they get stuff, materialistic stuff, simply because they need it as a prestige or an image. For example, like a new car. I can live with my car, but no, I can get the latest one. Or um, as I, I said earlier, there are certain things like, you know, I can get like um, a house, a holiday house. I can live without it, but no, I can get it. Um, and so on. So there is a lot of things that I don't need, but I want. Once I can solve, you know, the battle between what I need and what I want, I will be liberated. When I get only what I need, I will be liberated. But the, the things that I can get, a lot of stuff that I don't need. Certain people, even to the point that they would like to get certain things that you don't, they don't need, or even they don't want, just to impress people they don't like, simply to make them jealous. This is how, how you know, people are so complicated in their lives and they don't live the simple life. That's how the Lord is really keen to those people who are simple. Simple the way how they are dressed, simple the way how they have um, food, simple in the way they, when they have vacation, where they go, they're trying to be grateful and accepted what God has given them and not to be um, displaying the showing off in their lives. So it's really important for us 
to understand the need for it, that we need to be simple to draw come to the feet and sit down at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I live a different lifestyle or a different thing without like the inner man inside will, will be liberated, so actually I will have what is called simplicity from outside, not from inside, and this is very dangerous. It gives you, the, you know, two um, sides that are not there and not compatible and leads to destruction to some how to that person. And when they practice the simplicity from outside, so he's not yourself. He's not genuine. He does not give these things from inside him himself. That's how the simple person, he has to be really, really genuine in what is inside. So simplicity is by choice. So it's not about I cannot afford it. No, I cannot afford it, but I'm not going to um, get it as um, on the grounds of the principle that I don't want to or I don't need it. Okay, so simplicity now, it comes to um, a, a state of being satisfied with what I have, not only in terms of materialistic stuff, in terms of honor and dignity. I don't want to be um, honorable in the eyes of people, but I would like to be honorable in the eyes of God. This is, again, something really nice. When some people, they seek the dignity and honor from people, they are so proud, but they, see, they make themselves humble from outside. But from inside, they need it, and they seek it. But from outside, they don't show this. Again, this is something is not simple, and it's not genuine. So it's really essential for us to look at what we have and thank God for what has given us, and then you will be satisfied and you'll be grateful in your spiritual life. So there are many exercises we can do that in life. Number one is to get what you need, not what you don't want, in any way or form or shape. Number two is not to avoid anything to make you addicted to it. Anything will make an addiction to something to have a control over you, you need to get rid of that. And also to exercise and the practice giving away, giving away what you have. If you have an extra um, uh, thing, give it away. You don't need it. It's nice to like, you know, to um, practice the act of giving every time. This is will make you reach the simplicity. And also you feel that other people are in need of these things, but I don't need them. And this is will give you extra joy. And also to be grateful always. God has given you a lot of things, and God um, is looking after you, but there are many people, God wants you to look after them, and he is seeking you to do what is good and to be a cheerful giver. So we need to ask God for simplicity, and we need to ask God, please, as you have allowed these simple people to sit down at, the, at your feet, help me to be simple enough to sit at your feet, Lord, every night so I can enjoy the life with you and I can see. One of the things like them that the, the, the spiritual fathers, they advise us, it's really essential for you to have a quiet time. When you have a quiet time, you contemplate and you reflect what is inside you. And no one knows what is inside you except yourself. So the issue is inner, not outer. The issue is inside you. Look inside you, because no one knows that the person except the spirit of the person who dwells in him. So go inside, deep inside you, and you will see what is inside. Really, if you're trying to be simple, you can give away honor or dignity or image or prestige or materialistic things, and you'll never ask about, like, you know, what people they will ask. People, they, once you give away relationships, people, and materialistic stuff, you'll be free indeed. And then you'll be liberated, and then you can reach simplicity. May our Lord Jesus Christ, while we celebrate the Feast of Resurrection, and it needs a lot of simplicity of the faith, we can believe in him. He can help us to reach that simplicity. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia.